Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus, welcome to your first two weeks of April. It's your season, it's your time. And yes, you are first into the readings. Two weeks, this means this is a bi-weekly reading. And my resonate with you completely might be just a message or two. Be very careful what you choose to keep with you, take with you, and as well what you leave behind. Let's see loves how you are, how the energies are, and what we have for this period of time, whatever you are, and of course who you might be dealing or the situation you are in because sometimes comes a situation sometimes comes a person whatever comes in will be shared with you and for some of you loves might be a pleasant energy for some of you might not be as pleasant as you would like or desire you know if you are on this channel that's mean there's no sugar coating four of pentacles is your overarching energy there's something here that speaks to you that i'm not yet into or i'm not completely wanting to justice and king of pentacles and lovers there's something here you try to go forward but you feel like I will wait a little bit, probably by the full moon in Libra. And then I will make a choice as I feel more grounded or in a better position or in a better energy. Indeed, here there is a situation here, most likely work-wise for some of you Aries. It's like you feel like I gotta be more in a balanced way till I will take any decisions. Let's see, loves. Here you are in nine of wands energy. Very strongly the resisting. The resistance energy is quite up. As well, for some of you heirs, you've been for quite a while in this situation ace of wands two of cups chariot and eight of wands will be movement within just a few could be days could be weeks could be the most months so indeed here there is certain decisions to be made but i feel here it's not that this month so if you aries want to make a decision or you want to go towards something else i feel here you will take your time to go forward if there is a person i see a libra a cancerian or a taurus virgo capricorn into your life or pretty new into your life you will take your time till the things will settle down or will be more clear where you're standing and who you truly are dealing with so it's good many, many times to take your time. And I feel here that's quite a thing. Whatsoever, I feel here for some of you, if you are dealing with a particular person, they are pretty new into your life or there's certain things here that feels like new, either your feelings, either them to go next to the next level or something like that. I feel here you indeed are trying to take your time. Let's see here the nine of wands clarifying by four of cups, which is another four, two of swords, and ace of swords. 
it's kind of I'm not quite sure if I want to do this whoever you are dealing the things will get clear quite soon for some of you Aries you you didn't really want to engage into a, some kind of situation but I feel here just to take a big headache from your life you will four of pentacles eight of pentacles three of wands and ten of cups something here you don't want to put any more effort or you are skeptical if that will work or not or if that will improve and eight of wands temperance nine of cups and the empress so whatever it's there that's coming in I feel here that will clear out the things will start moving the, the things will start going forward in a way better energy than you think right now for some of you 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 are separated from someone and that person want to put effort into this connection if they are still love I feel here there will be a movement forward together also ladies Aries especially be careful because I see a pregnancy here so protect yourself if you don't want that for those of you who are don't want anyone at any cost here it's more likely a clarifying situation clarity closure energy and movement forward it's more likely in the first half could be in the first week Aries could be in the second but indeed here as this energy is for two weeks during these two weeks there's a lot of things are clear out whoever you are dealing whatever you are with who you are it's like if in the past you had certain expectation from whomever is this person or this situation now you speak your expectations if I get this if this works for me if this is great for me yes so speak out no matter what the situation is because many many times we we have expectations but no that the other person doesn't read your mind speak out no matter what let's see here one small overcoming energy and advice for you knight of wands page of swords and the moon seven of wands indeed here there's a lesson to be learned if you are afraid of something or if you feel that something doesn't go or will not go the way you plan it or the way you want it don't go forward with it's very much a free will if you feel that this person is not consistent or will not be consistent or this connection is not gonna last get more information 
take your time, learn more, and then go after. Because indeed here, this is um, eye-opening for many, many areas. Regards what you want, what is put on the table, and what could be in here. Because judgment very much speaks that it's about time to learn a lesson. Whatever that lesson is. And butterfly maiden... You are experiencing enormous change right now, which bring great blessings. So a lot of things are about to change for many areas. And underneath we have fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So whatever it's there, as I said, either a closure, either that clear communication you needed to have, if that opening, if that movement is that time. So Aries, I wish you the next two weeks full of blessings. And if you really enjoyed this reading, let me know down below. Your feedback is always, always appreciated as well. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Namaste.